Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Innovation Podcast, your source for all things innovation. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Kurt Cooper on the line, and he's CEO over at Ecom Automation Gurus. Kurt, welcome to the show. Awesome, Adam. Thanks for having me, man. Excited to be here. Oh, man, uh, what a great topic today. So how to automate your business. I'm really excited to get into that. So a lot of business owners, entrepreneurs, executives listening, and they've heard of our automation. Some people know what it is, but they have no idea how to pull it off. I know that's what you're doing. Um, so just to start off, let's get into what you're doing over at e-commerce or e-com automation gurus. Uh, tell us a little bit more about your company, please. Yeah, absolutely. So e-com automation gurus is literally built on the foundation of, of integrity. You know, we, uh, we got into this space, you know, simply because there's so many, you know, so many phony opportunities that are out there in the online space. People are always looking and searching for opportunities to make money, passive income. You know, the big thing, wanting to have those multiple streams of income uh, as you, you know, go through life. So really, I built this company on on the foundation of, of bringing integrity to the table, transparency, and an opportunity for people to to bring their trust and their hard-earned money to us to allow us to fully automate an Amazon or now on walmart.com marketplace business for them. So really, yeah, we specialize in everything from product research, uh, you know, customer service, you know, all returns. I mean, we do everything for them in an e-commerce uh, standpoint. They don't need to really know anything. They come to us wanting to have their own business, and then we put our team, you know, forward to, to fully automate, you know, all the way down to working to get them product exclusivity, in uh you know in their specific uh you know niche that they are selling in and really just accelerate and take off a business for them that's awesome and i think that's a great transition so let's get into today's topic so how to automate your business i mean so you know a lot of people listening they've heard of it they want to and now they're hearing you say well we can actually take care of that stuff for you i mean tell us more like how is all this stuff done yeah absolutely so we I mean, we have clients that come to us that have existing e-commerce stores or existing Amazon businesses. And, you know, they, this is kind of like how I got my start six years ago. I was a one-man show. I was a high school teacher and coach. I'd come home, and I'd literally, after my wife and kids went to bed, I would literally grind away on the computer for three, four hours into the wee hours of the night, you know, fulfilling orders, um, you know, responding to customer inquiries, you know, all this stuff. I was grinding it away, and really I had an aha moment. And at that point, I literally started sourcing out and building a team. And we got to the point where our team now is well over 300. So we have, you know, a man or woman in a position that is going to allow this business to be, you know, fully automated, hands off, other than collecting your direct deposit. So we want to be able to go in and grow a business to full capacity and not just make it a, a part-time gig. We want it to be a full-time business with part-time hours. And so just to be clear for everybody listening, um, automation doesn't mean that, like, it's all being done by AI or by something else. It just means that they don't have to do it. Like, your team is doing the work, right? Because I just want to I just exactly. want to clarify for everybody listening that this isn't, uh, like you said, there's so many things out there. People promise and do other things. It's like, no, this is, there's, there's you know, 300 people or so doing this work. Absolutely, yeah. And that's kind of my, my biggest pride point is, is, from ground zero, I've been able to train our very first agent all the way across the board and still two, three nights a week. I'm on, you know, I hop online and we run these things over Zoom and, you know, whiteboard and all, and we're constantly sharpening our sword, you know, making sure that our service is the absolute best out there. I'm confident I could look somebody in the eye and tell them that I would go head to head with any, you know, any other genius or marketing expert out there that claims they've got the best Amazon service. I can look somebody in the eye and guarantee you that we will go head to head and, and, you know, you're going to be in the right spot with us. Man, I love it. That's exciting. Um, where do you find, so where do you find, cause there's, I think there's also some people listening that maybe have tried it, have tried to go on Amazon, have tried some of these things, but maybe they weren't too successful. Where do you find, what do you find are some of the common pitfalls that people that are trying to even get an e-com um, kind of, kind of fall into like when they're first getting started? Yeah, it's the product. I mean, so many people will come in with their mind made up and, you know, they see something on TV and they go, wow, I think I can make a million dollars selling that product. 
and you may be right, and there's more than likely you're going to be wrong because it's not necessarily, <laughs> you know, a product that you want to be in. You know, if I was selling products I wanted to sell, it'd be a completely uh, just different ballgame. You know, we are selling products that are going to be profitable. And really with the wholesale FBA model, you know, we are going out there and finding a lot of smaller companies that have some brilliant product out there, but they do not have the capacity or the power to run their business on Amazon's platform. So we now give an opportunity to our clients who are now business owners, and we are going to go through and, and create them a reselling business. So now they are going to establish relationships. We're going to establish them for them, but it's going to be their company establishing a relationship with these other brands to essentially source their product and be resellers of that product. You're going to you know, have your brand authorization letters. I mean, you're going to have, you know, your legitimate invoices. You know, so many people, you know, hopscotch around on Amazon and do things in, you know, in a very shady manner. I mean, this is as legit as you can possibly be as far as businesses go in the reselling world. And our ultimate goal is to show these, these brands that we're going to knock their product out of the park, that we eventually will sign exclusivity contracts with them where our client will now be an exclusive seller of that product where there will be nobody else selling it on Amazon. That is our ultimate goal for everybody, to have a couple of those in the life of their business that you establish and hold and maintain for a long-term relationship. Man, that's awesome. And so um, what are some, and you don't have to give an exact product, but just so people understand, because I, I love that you said that, like you're not selling what you want to sell per se, you're selling what's profitable. There's a big distinction there. Um, so can you just give us, uh, and uh, again, doesn't have to be a product or a brand or anything like that, but just some some like ideas of what you've done in your past in terms of types of products that you've helped market and, and grow. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've had things come through as, as far as skin care, um, which in some cases is, is, uh, you know, difficult because there's a lot of big brand names out there. But if you find a specific niche and you really kind of, you know, learn to market, you know, on behalf of that niche, get the brand out there. And then at that point, you know, you're allowing that brand to take off and then your relationship as the authorized reseller of that product. Um, you know, we have, you know, we have a client right now that's selling, uh, small, real small metal parts. Like, like, um, stuff that you would buy in a hardware store, but very, you know, far more specific in these parts. They sell like hotcakes. I'm pretty sure last month he's in his third month with us and he made, you know, $8,000 net profit off of, you know, maybe I think $20,000 that he invested in. He, you know, made his full 20 grand back plus another 8,000 and he's three months into it with us, you know, and that's off of just a very small, specific, you know, metal parts that is, is being sourced and wow. you know, purchased. Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, little little things that he would have never gotten into. Uh, he's a dentist, you know. He, he, he got into this as, a, as an extra stream of income, and, you know, he's absolutely geeked out about it. Um, we've got, you know, little just kind of, you know, knick-knacky things. We've got some, some, some bigger things uh, as far as, um, you know, women's, just different uh, variety of women's products. Uh, men's products, kids, baby. Um, I mean, there's some very obscure wow, things that's so, out there that's that so are exciting. <laughs> yeah, that's so exciting because I love it. Because what you do, I mean, to me, this is like the epitome of like the old school. Like if we're in a market or something else, and you're seeing, you're looking, because yeah. that's all it is. I mean, it's a, it's a our our once once upon a time we had open air markets, right? Way back when. Now it's a, it's an online market. Yeah. Same thing. Um, so it's exciting to me to see like your uh, how you help how you're helping your clients navigate and succeed in that marketplace. So that's awesome. Um, so that being said, Kurt. If somebody's listening to this and they want to learn more about e-com automation gurus or to connect, um, final question, two-part question. Um, part one, what's the right type of client that's usually a good fit to work with you and your team? And then part two, what's the best way for them to connect and to follow up? Yeah, without question. So really the, the best client for us and the best person for this, you know, this process is somebody that, that can go in and – I don't know, I, I'm a micromanager to a certain extent, but somebody that can go in and actually kind of trust the fact that, hey, I don't know anything about this space. I'm getting into this because, one, the relationship that I want them to form with myself, uh, with some of my, you know, my right-hand, you know, guys and girls within our company, um, they're going to establish relationships with us, and I want them to really buy into, you know, us and, and the fact that we are committed to be, you know, different than some of the you know, the goofballs that you're going to find out on the Internet. You know, there's so many horror stories out there that, 
you know, we pride ourselves, again, on integrity. We want to make sure that this is a long-term relationship because if our client's not making money, we're not making money, it's a waste of both of our time. So, um, yeah, we, we want to make sure that it's somebody that can come in with a, a business mindset or is open to developing a business mindset. We have teachers. Um, we have lawyers. We have doctors. We have mechanics. I mean, we have people of all walks of life. It's really if you want to come and invest money in yourself and in a business, invest in your family and an opportunity to create financial freedom. Um, I mean, really, time and financial freedom is why I got into this, why I got out of teaching, why I got out of coaching. I loved my, my job then, but I, I love my life now. So we're looking for somebody that is in a similar situation. We don't want them to quit their job. We want them to be able to add an additional stream of income and, and just be financially free. And as far as, yeah, get in contact with us, uh, we'd love for them to, you know, go to our website, which is going to be www.ecom, that's E-C-O-M, one M, ecom automation gurus, G-U-R-U-S dot com, ecom automation gurus dot com, and you can schedule a call on there, speak with one of our consultants. Um, again, you're, they're not going to be selling anything to anyone. They literally want to educate people and make sure it's the right fit for us, right fit for them, and that we can come together in a partnership and literally work to change people's lives. Man, that's fantastic. I love what you're doing, Kirk. Um, so that being said, um, really appreciate you coming on the show today and uh, sharing more about your background and all the great work you're doing for your clients. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review in the Apple iTunes store. And if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Innovation, definitely give us a subscribe there, but also leave us some comments on the, on the video. Love to know what kind, of, um, what kind of projects and things that you're working on. And Kurt, thanks again for coming on the show. Awesome, Adam. I appreciate you, buddy. Thanks so much.